one day, as I was searching for a way to allow or integrate my intuitive self, I came upon a bridge crossing a beautiful valley, metaphorically speaking. It seemed to me that my intuitive self was on the other side of this bridge and my human self needed to cross it. But it didn't know how and it didn't know whether to and didn't necessarily want to. At that time, it didn't occur to me that I didn't need to cross the bridge. After some time, my human self became aware that all I really needed to do is put both feet on the bridge. That should be easy, right? Putting both feet on the bridge? It turned out not to be so. My mind would wonder what the result of putting both feet on the bridge would be. It wanted to know. It wanted to feel safe. There was a lot of mind chatter and procrastination. It was going on and on. Should I do it? Should I not? Am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? Should I do something differently? What should I do? Should I do anything at all? Is this even real? Am I kidding myself? Why isn't it happening yet? What's supposed to happen anyway? The chatter was persistent, but fortunately, I had the three A's to lean on to quiet it down. Throughout this time, I would put one foot on the bridge to see what would happen, but then I would step back. Eventually, I would get to a point where I would have one foot on the bridge, but still have one foot off. This one foot on and one foot off dance went on for as long as it did. After some time, it became clear to me that there were two sides to this bridge. There was the human, the I am not that, I am not, wanting to know all of the answers and wanting to feel safe before putting both feet on the bridge. Basically, it wanted to stay in control. And there was I, the soul, the intuitive self, the I am that I am standing on the other side, waiting for the human to allow me in. Then finally came a time where I, the human, trusted enough and took the plunge. Or maybe I just got tired of playing the game and put both feet on the bridge. As I waited on the bridge, I wondered what was going to happen. I wondered whether I had done enough. I wondered what else needed to be done. I wondered whether my soul would accept me, the human, just as I am. But I even got tired of all that, and I decided there was nothing left to do but keep both feet on the bridge and trust that my soul would cross it. As I had come to realize, the bridge is made up of both the human, the I am not that, I am not, and the soul, the I am that, I am. And what's holding it together is my soul's complete acceptance of my human self, which creates the we are that, we are. It's beautiful.
Even though this is a relationship between my human self and I, the soul, to create this bridge, my human self felt responsible and thought it needed to do something. Well, it turns out that all it really needed to do is put both feet on the bridge and allow me, the soul, to do all of the work. Now, as we step off the bridge to live and experience life to its fullest, I can definitely say that this relationship is a work in progress, sometimes connected and sometimes not, but each day it gets better and better and better as we create our new movie.